finally ready to eat. Mm, a little bit of rice. Mm -hmm. Still hot. And mojito. No alcohol mojito. Take a cup of pinto beans, wash really well. Add washed pinto beans into the electric cooker pot with 2-3 to three cups of water, salt to taste, cover and lock the cooker with the vent closed and set the cooker for 25-30 to 30 minutes. When done, Open the cooker carefully and drain the beans. Here I have the pinto beans ready. And into the pinto beans, I'm going to add taco seasoning, homemade taco seasoning. If you would like to learn how to make taco seasoning at home, make sure you watch the video till the end. And now, give it a good mix. I don't want all the way mashed like a refried beans. I want kind of a chunky refried beans. But it's totally up to you. As you mash and as it cools, it will get thicker like this. To prepare Mexican rice, here I have short grain rice. Long grain rice can be used as well. Wash rice really well into the cooker pot or regular open pot take about a tablespoon of oil add rice roast rice lightly add water or vegetable stock next add salt to taste Pepper as for your taste, brown cumin, cayenne or paprika powder, garlic powder. Give this all a really good stir. If you do not have vegetable stock, little bit of uh, tomato puree can be added as well. And even if you add vegetable stock, tomato paste still can be added. Cover half open and cook on a medium. Rice is ready for our burritos. Fluff up the rice. I am simply loving the color of the rice. For this recipe, store-bought ready enchilada or taco sauce can be used but I like to make my own enchilada or taco sauce. To prepare multi-purpose taco enchilada sauce, take oil into the pan on a medium to high heat. When the oil is hot, add cumin seeds, onion, garlic, salt, here I have chilies, remove the stem and break the chilies, fresh jalapeno, red jalapeno or any kind of red chilies can be used, add tomato, add water, and cook everything to soft, mushy. When everything is nice and soft, turn on the stove and using hand blender, blend everything together.
Next, pass the mixture through the sieve. All the seeds and the skin of the tomato, everything will be left in here. Discard the seeds and the skin of the tomato. And you will get nice and thick sauce. This homemade sauce can be refrigerated for up to 3 to 4 days or freeze for up to 3 months. To prepare piccati gallo, here I have all the ingredients lined up. Finely chopped white onion. Finely chopped jalapeno or serrano pepper can be used. And now to this, squeeze lime juice. Add salt. And now let onion and jalapeno marinate for about 5 minutes. After about 5 minutes, add remaining ingredients, finely chopped tomatoes and squeezed to remove water from the tomatoes. Very important. And if the tomatoes are not really uh, red in color, uh, go ahead and add red bell pepper. That's what I normally do. Finely chopped cilantro and black pepper. Now give everything a really good mix and picori gelo is ready. Mm, smells so amazing here. Alright, so let's keep this on the side. To prepare quick guacamole, here I have jalapeno. I'm just going to chop roughly with the seeds. If desired, you can de-seed. But I want spicy guacamole, so I'm just going to leave all the seeds in there. Now here I have cilantro, just to chop properly. This is a quick version of a chopper uh, guacamole I'm sharing here. Garlic. First, let's blend all these ingredients like so. As you can see, nice and chunky, all green ingredients. To this now, add avocado. Let's just hope there is no surprise and that avocado is good inside. Probably, I think, but it looks good, nice and green. I'm just going to use this spoon, scoop out the avocado. It just totally messed up, but sometimes it happens. So, alright, so finally avocado is in there. I had to work a little hard. Add salt, ground cumin, and squeeze half of the lime. And just blend one more time. Like, alright, so here I have chunky guacamole ready. Alright, so now to prepare. The plate um, of enchilada. Here I have flour tortilla. Here I have corn tortilla. It's totally your choice which one you like. Today I'm going to use flour tortillas. I normally use yellow corn flour tortillas, my favorite, but I'm going to use flour tortilla today. Alright, so take the plate and into the plate, take one tortilla at a time and stuff with beans as much or as little as you like i'm going to serve a little bit of beans outside as well so i'm just going to add a little amount of beans cheese and i also stuff a little bit of rice inside as well just a little bit just to make that enchilada a little fluffier and stuffier but it's totally up to you and also a little bit of enchilada sauce inside then just fold in as much tight as you can and keep the seam side down so into the another plate i'm going to take 
enchilada sauce and then place the enchilada into the plate on the sauce and add more sauce on the top cover the whole enchilada with sauce and I'm going to prepare the remaining enchiladas sprinkle more cheese on the top on one side I'm going to put rice and on the other side beans and now bake until cheese is melted the next plate i'm going to use corn tortillas so take one tortilla at a time and uh, the same thing just uh, stuff with beans a little bit of rice cheese and just a little bit of sauce and roll and place into the plate in before it opens up add more sauce on the top and i'm going to prepare the second one the same way and here i have my second one ready as well sprinkle cheese on the top and ready to bake all right so here i have all the enchilada plates ready now to serve all the condiments i am using another plate here place some lettuce on one side then here i have picari gelo guacamole and a dollop of sour cream on one side so our side dish is ready and here i have my enchilada baked and ready to garnish with spring onion and some jalapenos and ready to serve to prepare non-alcoholic mojito i use fresh mint basil fresh lime some ice sea salt and sparkling water you can use even sprite or um, some other favorite soda of yours or club soda even works if you don't want any kind of sugar in your um, non-alcoholic mojito in water that i'm using is also zero calories zero sugar so it's up to you but some kind of sparkling soft drink will make great mojito so, Tear apart mint or you can just chop roughly and uh, basil if you have otherwise you can just only make with mint as well but since I have a basil blooming in my garden I always love to add basil as well then sea salt nice and take quarter of lime for each glass squeeze lime juice as much as you can and just throw the lime in it and throw the lime in and muddle it like bruise it basically add crushed ice I prefer to add crushed ice and 
finally add sparkling water or your favorite soda so non-alcoholic mojito is ready get the straw in mojito no alcohol mojito I love mojito so much that nowadays I prepare the concentrate mix of mojito and freeze to use later as needed. To prepare multi-purpose Mexican seasoning, into the mixer jar take onion and garlic powder. Here I have three different varieties of chili powder. Only one kind can be used. I'm using hot chili cayenne and paprika powder next I have ground coriander and cumin powder then salt and pepper dried oregano and last but not least unsweetened cocoa powder and cornstarch Cover the jar and pulse all the ingredients few times until all the ingredients are well incorporated. And our homemade Mexican seasoning is ready to use in recipes. Let me show you how the color looks like. Now to preserve this seasoning really well, use airtight container or a jar and use within 3 months for the best flavor. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please do like and comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new recipe videos every week. You can also visit my website boundlesskitchen.com for new recipe tips, tricks and ideas in the kitchen. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, Boundless Kitchen is everywhere. You can download the Boundless Kitchen app totally free on your iOS, Android and many other mobile devices. You can watch me on a big TV screen using Roku, Amazon Fire or YouTube app itself. Thank you for watching and see you soon.